Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna cut open this super tech filter. Question is why people buy super tech at first place? So if you are the person that uses super tech product, why? Because of the cheap price or because of the quality? I don't know the quality of this filter. I never use their products, never use their oil. So I can't speak if it's a quality product or not. I know one thing for a fact, quality always comes with a cost, always. Whenever someone even does a quality work, their work costs more than someone just slaps something together, you know, and so on. So one thing that I noticed about this filter is not many brands put date of production and time product of usa so what what does that means product of usa this means it made in usa you know if you're using uh, their uh, super tech walmart brand products let me know in the comment section how often you replace what vehicle you have what mileage why you prefer to use super tech over other brands you know and something else that i noticed on this uh, filter is uh, never seen before Let's see if camera can focus. So right there, compatible with Fram, Mobile, and KNN. Ha! Huh. Interesting. So you, so the company Supertech has to put the word in to convince people that their filter is actually compatible with uh, with well-known brands. Surprisingly, never seen Fram putting that kind of statement. Maybe they do. Maybe I never noticed it. We'll find out soon. Something else is coming out about the Fram filters. I'm not sure how competitor filters for this specific uh, would look like, you know. I guess it doesn't matter actually. Frame does look different on the inside, but this is how uh, SuperTech does, you know, deep, kind of. So, so that's how it, they do it, you know. Came from an engine that failed. I don't think the cause of the, I don't don't think the engine failed because of the filter, but we'll find out what's inside the filter and so on. Let's cut it open and, and see what we're gonna find there. So that's the process of cutting the filters open. Looks like more oil is coming out, which is always, I like to give a month, good month for the oil to come out, but this time I decided to see, Oh, that's a lot of oil here. Ooh, what's inside there? What do we see here besides black oil? Not much you can see here, except, you know, dirty oil, dirt. Kind of, kind of standard, you know, different shape, a little bit, but the standard. Standard way for the filter. Let's take a look inside here. Into drain valve. Typical. And then we have a bunch of dirty oil on the inside. So, huh, interesting. Very interesting. I want you guys to comment. If you know who makes those filters for uh, who makes this filter for uh, SuperTech? Because I'm sure SuperTech doesn't make their oil, doesn't make their filters. So I'll, I already see something familiar with. Uh, oh, Valvoline. You know, looks like looks like a similar design to something to like a Valvoline filter that I recently did review. For some reason, this filter is. Something is stuck, doesn't want to. Oh, very, very strong spring actually, comparing to Valvoline. Very, very strong, very hard to press. But this is flimsy. Look how flimsy. Too metal. So, so it has bypass filter, bypass or uh, valve, but it's not very strong. You know, I mean, it's bypass valve is very strong. Inside, inside is, uh, there's a plastic right there, you guys can see. 
there's a plastic so overall what can I say overall a strong metal can you know uh, metal uh, when a company uses metal end caps instead of you know plastic or uh, cardboard it's always a big plus it makes a filter stronger to withstand the pressures because you know plastic eventually it you can flex more and separate more it can crack eventually you know depending how high heat plastics are known to crack under high heat and uh, uh, high pressures sometimes not always some plastics do some don't so metal is always preferred because the can of the filter made out of metal still still construction what can i see tell here you know i don't know the quality the uh regular media there is nothing special about here a regular media um cellulose made cellulose actually a product of wood it's construction it's all construction can't say anything media it's typical media for the filters in its class nothing to say bad about it average and like i said earlier in the video quality comes with the cost so if you want better media well you're gonna spend more overall i think it's a good filter for for the money does it provides great uh, uh does it provides great filtration of course not is it compatible with a factory that with, uh, meets the uh, same specification as factory? I do not know. It doesn't say here what's the micron ratings or anything. So I do not know if it meets, exceeds factory or same as factory. So definitely compatible with uh, media itself with a frame. Valvoline, any brands, any, you know, average brand. Uh, this is not synthetic media. I can tell the fiber. Uh, it's a cellulose, standard cellulose media. Let me put it this way. Junk? No. All factory filters? Uh, no, I'm not going to say all. 99% of factory media is made out of this cellulose material. There are factory filters that are built to high standards and and it's only available for uh, heavy duty applications. You can't find factory for cars and you know light duty light applications, cars and trucks that we really that you know everyday cars that people drive. There is aftermarket products that with synthetic media available, they definitely provide a better filtration. So and very often people say, well, it restricts the flow of the oil. When the oil is cold, it's been bypassed. This is the purpose of this, the bypass. None of the oil being filtrated. It's been bypassed, and that's the purpose. Uh, and that's the purpose of what bypass felt. Something else I want to point out <clears throat> that I forgot to mention. Uh, you see the gap? There is no uh, seal. So anything, uh, you know, the efficiency of the filter goes down when you don't have a, an extra seal to, to allow oil to flow through. So even if, even if the bypass valve would not open, it will still leak through and go unfiltered, unfortunately, because it, you know there is no rubber, it's just a metal against metal, and it's not perfect metal, you see. So, so there is enough room even if the valve fails, there's enough room for it to to, to flow and flex and, and so on. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with others.